The pandemic changed everything, including the way kids learned and spent their free time. According to Common Sense Media, screen use for teens and tweens has grown by 17% since 2019, with kids 8 to 12 clocking five and a half hours a day and 13 to 18-year-olds logging nearly nine hours a day on devices. Now many parents are pumping the brakes. For mom of four, Adriana Stacy, the family policy has always been firm. We don't buy smartphones for our children. She's a psychiatrist who's seen the effects of increased screen time in her practice. I'll get a patient in my office, usually a teenager, who all of a sudden started to really struggle with anxiety and depression. Pretty much every time we can trace that back to when did you get a phone? But her oldest, Annalise, a 10th grader, often feels left out. It's definitely hard sometimes because I have been like left out of decisions because I haven't been on a group chat or something. It's also been a struggle in the classroom. Some of Annalise's teachers ask students to use their smartphones to do classwork. We do feel like we're standing alone on an island. But the island is getting bigger. A movement called Wait Until 8th encourages parents to wait until at least 8th grade to give kids smartphones. The network is 40,000 families strong, and they've seen a 25% increase in participation in the last year alone. Parents have seen the impact of screens on kids over the past couple of years with online school and lots of social media consumption. Let's get our kids outside. Let's get our kids reading. Let's get our kids playing with other kids in real life. Let's let our kids enjoy being kids. Research about the impact of smartphones is mixed. A large study using data from the National Institutes of Health found screen time was moderately associated with worse mental health, increased behavior problems, decreased academic performance, and poorer sleep, but also found using a smartphone or device improved friendships and connection. Dr. Jean Twangy is a professor of psychology at San Diego State and author of the book iGen. Are we basically experimenting on our kids, not knowing what the impact of these smartphones will be long term? All of us are basically living in a big social experiment where smartphones have taken over. In effect, we're experimenting with their brains. Hey, let's give them all a smartphone and see what happens. Experts agree if parents are going to allow smartphones, they should be banned from the bedroom overnight, and they recommend setting time limits and parental controls. And for the growing number of parents who decide not to give their kids a smartphone at all, talk to your kids about your concerns and consider a stripped-down phone for calls and texts only. Last year, Annalise Stacy got one of those. At 15 years old, she already sees the benefits of not having a smartphone. It's been a positive experience not growing up with one because I spent more time doing more valuable things and less time on my phone. I have better self-esteem and better social skills and I can definitely like communicate and just talk to people more. So look, the whole family admits that this has not been easy for them, and it's obviously every parent's choice what to do. But guys, I have to tell you about one study from the University of Texas that stood out to us. They gave people a series of tests without a smartphone nearby, and then they had their smartphone near them, Mm -hmm. but not touching it. Mm. Just having the phone on a table within reach Mm. meant that they didn't do as well on the test. I believe it. Because they were distracted by just the presence. Or the thought that someone... We're just looking over, did I get a notification? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I think that wait until eighth and that yeah. whole idea of their strength in numbers, you know, yeah. like casually the moms, I, we have a yeah. second grader and a mm-hmm. preschooler, but it's like the second grade moms were like, if we all get together and these kids yeah. are going to be in school together all That's these the years, okay. right. then this, there's not as much being ostracized Pressure. if right. all the kids. Yeah. You need a coalition in your neighborhood. Yeah. It's like babysitting. You know, we all the parents say, all right, what's the going rate? Is it $10, $15, <laughs> yeah. $10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we all stick to it yeah. so that it's fair in the communities. So you almost right. have to set that community standard. Yeah. What about in the classrooms where there are requ- I mean, you so need to have a phone? Some classrooms, right? Uh-huh. I think it depends on where you live. Um, where I live, yeah. certainly outside New York, my kids are asked to take out your phone and like answer questions on your phone during class. What the experts said to me about that yeah. is if you're one of these people that wants to hold off on the smartphone, just talk to the teachers, yeah. talk to the administration. You don't have to have a phone to no. do the work in the classroom. Right. You can use a laptop. You can yeah. use an iPad. And if right. you want to right. a safety right. concern, Chromebook a lot of parents are like, yeah. oh, I, you know, my kids, we live in the city. I want them to be able to call me. It's like, it's a flip phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. You can do a flip yeah. phone. You can still make the call. I always right. remember Leela at about 12 said, well, I, I really do need it for safety. I said, what are you going to pool holes? What <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
yeah. <laughs> you, you literally come from home to school. Yeah. Like the I mean, blocks. we all survived. I tell my kids yeah. this all the time. Yeah. We survived by going to the mall and being like, I'll meet you there at 8. Yeah. 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 Nobody yeah. has to just roll their eyes. I'll tell you the other thing. And go, what's a mall? Yeah. You really, as parents, this is the hard part. We have to model it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, guess that's what? Good We're all addicted to our phones. So what are we showing? Yeah. So that's why you do that whole thing I'm like a, at dinner. You put do the phone thing. Put, you know, away. put the phone in the basket. Yeah, you know, yeah. We all do it. Set yeah. the standard. We, yeah. we started a long time ago, no phones at night. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. stays, every phone stays downstairs. Yeah, so that's I good. Would, wow. I would definitely endorse that. Yeah, that's my, good. My kids are a lot older. Good. Good. Great session. Thank you. That's good. Here we go. Thank we could do yeah. two hours on this topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. Easy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.